good afternoon my dears welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to look at how to use soil soil etaka in lugana etaka soil 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 some people can call it sand soil soil the earth that thing we step on eh? how to use soil for protection for back to sender to expose enemies yes instant back to sender protection yes i'm not i've not carried soil but i suppose every one of you understands and knows soil before we dive into the video my name is maria your spiritual guide easy living solutions to life i'm very happy to see you today welcome to my youtube channel thank you for subscribing if you're visiting us for the very first time please don't forget to click the subscription button it is a red button other people have a black one i suppose click on it so that you can be able to join our family and learn so many things spiritually that can help you to live easier and better in this world because this world is not easy my dear it is not easy we all have spiritual enemies whether you were a baby whether you're still in your mother's womb whether you're lame whether you're ugly whether you're beautiful married single good whether you're a pastor whatever whoever you are we all have spiritual enemies and we all attract spiritual enemies if you're successful you attract those enemies if you're suffering you attract suffering spiritual enemies my friend don't relax be on your guard work on yourself and your life will be easier and better and every one of us has spiritual enemies and sometimes most of us our spiritual eyes are blind like we don't realize sometimes we have enemies but we are so blind to them the people that are close to us the people we call family the people we call best friends the people we call neighbors the people we call workmates most of those people usually develop those bad spirits that haunt us that hate us so when we are equipped spiritually if you have the spiritual knowledge my sister my friend you will be unstoppable you will be able to fight those wires of the enemies as long as you stand in the lord yes use this according to your faith and you'll be unstoppable my dear witches will start calling you a witch your enemies will start calling you a witch if someone calls you a witch tomorrow just know they were trying to 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 to, to attack you spiritually but they failed yes what i'm about to share with you is a very very powerful recipe very powerful there are people who will try you when you do this of course I won't promise you that everyone who do, who does this today it will work immediately today but trust me it will work for some people it takes a little time other people it takes some time eh? some time at least between two weeks upwards when you do this and you do it very very well yeah some people some people are spiritually clean in that when they do these things it works instantly and immediately yes so please please do these things you will be unstoppable you will be unstoppable these things have changed many people's lives yes i've been taking some of these i've been taking these things through some corporate package customers and even more more things and people's lives have changed people have lots of testimonies too many testimonies yes do this come back with a testimony so in today's video we shall need one ingredient actually we shall need two ingredients yes we shall need soil we shall also need the word of god the word of god here i need either a bible or a quran yes i'm going to to speak in a christian perspective of things so when you get your bible you're going to do this prayer for three days for three nights yes each of these days at midnight wake up 
by the way, when you do this thing, by the way, there are some people who will get immediate results according to how you pray. According to how you pray, if you've been having a residential spirit, that night you pray, it will go away from you. It will depart from you. Other people will feel so weak. Other people will feel like something has left them. Yeah, by the way, this prayer, if you do it very well, it works for you immediately. I'm speaking this because of the testimonies, the countless testimonies people have shared with me when they tried this. So, after getting your soil, if you're a Christian, you'll get your Bible and you read Psalms at exactly midnight. Okay, it shouldn't be at exactly, but it should be at the hour of midnight. Yeah, you don't mind whether it is midnight, past one, two, three, whatever. So, after you get your Bible and you read for me these chapters, you read Psalms 35. This Psalms 35, its purpose is back to sender yes for god to fight for you then we will also read psalms 51. psalms 51 it is for asking for god's forgiveness and mercy please read the whole chapter and also after reading that you read psalms 91. this is for god to fight for you yes god to protect you after reading that those those uh, those chapters in the book of psalms you get your soil I suppose like after getting your castle, you can put it in like in a play, uh, sorry, in a tin, in a cup, in any in any package you can. Eh? Yeah, it can be something so little, even if one spoon of the sand or soil. So after reading your scriptures, you can put down your Bible and hold the soil. And you pray in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Allah, in the mighty name of God, any man, any woman. On the surface of this earth, I should come with a container. Let me assume my soil is in this. Yes, maybe this is my soil. You hold it. In the mighty name of Jesus, any man, any woman, any spirit on the surface of this earth that says, now you start declaring. Eh? When you do this, I want you to, to stand in the gap for yourself, for your husband. And for your children and for your grandchildren yeah set a precedence for your grandchildren even when you don't have children even when you don't have grandchildren you can set a precedence i encourage you not to extend this prayer beyond those boundaries because it will be very overwhelming for you you can't handle it as you as you will hear the way i'll be taking you through you can't say my mother my brother my sister my aunt no dedicate it to a, this nuclear family because it won't be like it will be overwhelming for you maybe for the next time you can dedicate that to other people yes now in the mighty name of jesus any man any woman any spirit don't forget that word any spirit someone might not haunt you but send a spirit to haunt you so you need to mention that any spirit on the surface of this earth that says uh, we shall not be successful. Actually, before you begin your prayer, you can say, I'm standing in the gap for myself, the gap for my children, I'm standing in the gap for my husband, and for my grandchildren and great-grandchildren. In the mighty name of Jesus, any man, any woman, any spirit on the surface of this earth that says, I will not be successful, that says my children will not be successful, that says my marriage will not be successful. May whatever powers they are standing on be nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. Any man, any woman, any spirit who has done any evil on me, on my husband, on my children, on my family in the past, present, and who is hoping to do any evil to us, may this earth fight them in the mighty name of jesus and may this earth be the contact may this soil be the contact and may this soul fight them in the mighty name of jesus you don't know what that statement means that statement means if they try to harm you everything around them will fight them it could be a snake it could be people it could be anything will fight them because the earth is very wide yes you continue with your prayer 
any man, any woman, any spirit on the surface of this earth that says we shall die young, we shall die broke, we shall be poor, we shall be diseased, we shall split up, we shall separate, we shall never enjoy the fruits of serving God. May their spells, charms, witchcraft, evil arrows, incarnations be nullified. I deflect their powers. I deflect whatever they are standing on. I render it powerless. May they be known. May they be exposed. May God fight them in the mighty name of Jesus. You can go on and on and on. Eh? Now, dear brother, dear sister, aunt, mom uncle grandma granddad if you have an issue in your life maybe you're not married maybe in your family you have that issue maybe you you have that that pattern eh, of maybe poverty maybe you have that pattern of disease those are the particular things you're supposed to incorporate in this prayer yes there are some people who have evil patterns in their family I got one time a client who in their family every October 10th they have to lose a member of the family. All around the year everyone is worried who is next but they have to lose a family member. My dear brother and sister don't overlook those small factors. There are people in their families who should who are not supposed to get married. When you get married, maybe your husband dies, maybe you die, maybe you get poor, maybe you get diseased. Those are the things you must incorporate in, with, in prayer. Never be scared of the devil. When you fear the devil, he will joke with you. He will haunt you. He will disturb you. As long as you have a basis, you're standing on. And the most powerful basis is God. The most powerful basis is Allah. The most powerful basis is Jesus. Stand on that ground, pray, do these practical things. I'm telling you which doctors will call you a witch, witches will call you a witch, your enemies will call you a witch. Do this, come back with a testimony. Thank you very much. Share this video to bless someone. Subscribe. Also like my video. I love you. Have a blessed Sunday. Goodbye.